I found a little apple tree, you guys. Probably the deer have been eating it. This would be a nice little snack for the, for the horses. I sent messages to people who've gone on this trail before to get direction. Whew. It's only been about 25 minutes though, so I know that we're doing okay for time. Our plan was to just ride for 30 minutes. Uh, the girls are going really slow right now. Oh. We came to a crossroads. You can go three ways here. Gabby chose to go this way. Why, Gabby? Because this is the way the highway. That's the way the highway is. That's where we're supposed to be. Um, yeah, those are not the right ways for sure. I hope this is the right way. We might have to get off and walk our horses. Oh man. So I messaged Sam and he said, stand where you are, I'll honk the horn here if you can hear me. I can't hear because my ears are plugged. And I told the girls, listen for dad, he's gonna honk the horn. And he honked the horn and we heard nothing. I have faith though. I have faith in God that he's gonna lead us out. Him or Google Maps because that's where I'm about to go now. Of course, Google Maps doesn't walk, work in the woods. I have Sam trying to help me though. Did you guys hear the, do you guys hear the traffic yet? They're screaming something to me, but I can't hear. I have a doctor's appointment on Monday in the morning to get, I'm sure I have a sinus infection. It's lasted a month, you guys, and I can't hear still. My nose is all plugged up. Oh, man. I knew we went in the woods, we'd get lost, but I also knew that these trails are like really well marked. Okay, these trails are not marked at all. But it's a conservation area and it's not that huge. Okay, it's massive. Oh. I knew we'd be able to find our way out. Every single time I go on a trail, even for walking, I always turn around and go back because I never trust that it's gonna take me out. So I always panic myself. So I'm panicking for nothing. Right, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Sophie just said she spot a yellow marker. You guys are good little trail girls. So we're going in the, some direction. I just hope I'm not walking all the way to like a city away from us. You guys feeling comfortable still? The footing is much better here. Knock on wood. Please God, don't challenge that saying by putting a big huge hill in front of us now. We are going down though. Slow and steady. I feel like we're headed on, on out. Can you hear it? You hear the traffic? Yes, can you hear it? No. We heard it like a mile. Oh, and then I couldn't hear you guys. I was all panicked back there and you guys are like hearing the traffic and now we're going in the right direction. We were yelling at you, can you hear the traffic? But I couldn't hear, oh man. Never send a deaf girl out into the woods with two horses. And I don't mean that offensively towards people that can't hear. I just mean newly deaf people who have no idea how to rely on their other senses. <sighs> Luckily though, to rely on my girl senses. <sighs> Yay. Yay. Just follow your instincts, guys. Keep going the way you think you're meant to go. And pray a lot. A bird flew out. Hi. Are you on a trail, an actual trail? Yeah, we're, I think we're on our way back maybe. The girl said that they could hear the traffic a mile away, a mile back, but I couldn't hear it. Yeah, well once you hear the traffic, that's the highway. Yeah, I can hear it now. And the one road is, is fresh road for the whole way down. So. Yeah, hopefully we're okay now. So what yeah, happened was we were going along and I could see, I could hear the traffic and see it. And then all of a sudden we went up again, deeper into the woods. And then I panicked. But I knew you'd come and save us if you had to. Even with your sore knees. Yeah, I was about to come walking. You were about to come walking? You never would have found us, Sam. We're so far in the woods. And we I did. Know, we went uh, off the trail. Google Maps shows me the trail. What? Google Maps shows me the trail. I tried to open Google Maps and my phone wouldn't open it. Oh, Too bad it couldn't show you us on the trail. What? Too bad it couldn't show you us on the trail. Yeah, I, I can't do that, but I mean, if I was going to follow this trail down. <laughs> no. Oh, anyway, we're almost back. I'll let okay. you know if we're still lost in five minutes. 
Alright. Alright, bye. Thanks bye. for keeping us safe. What? Two blue markers. Two blue markers? And a red one. And a red one. Oh god, don't let that be three changes we have to make. Do you guys remember the marker that the, we started on? Oh, and there's a rescue thing. <laughs> now there's a rescue thing. It says uh, for inquiries, contact the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. No off road vehicles, no camping, no campfires. But if you see a sign, you know where you got to be close. You can see the highway? Okay, so there's a blue marker. All right, Gabby, take charge. Way to take charge. Oh, yay. Oh, and some puddles. We went through a puddle on the way here. And anytime they get into some good footing, they do a little trot because that's what they really want to do. Oh. See if Storm goes through that big puddle. Nope, all the way around it. Oh, there they go. Can you guys hear the highway? Oh. It's so empowering though. Oh, another big puddle. Stella goes right through it. She's looking at the grass. Let me eat it. So the girls did not know that I was a little nervous there for a few minutes. I knew we'd make it home, but I was nervous, but I kept it from them and they're like taking this as a huge adventure and they're really excited about it. Is this the same pond? I don't think this is the same pond. I can hear the highway though. Both horses in the middle of the pond. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl. Before he never used water. Yeah, see that's what happens. Oh. If I don't lose weight after this rod, I don't know man. All I want is a nice trail. A flat, smooth trail just goes around like in a big circle. Some woods in the middle maybe. A tree here, here and there. Lots of sand. Is that too much to ask for? Oh, and maybe some air conditioning. Oh, it's been a nice slow, petty, slow, steady pace. One hill killed me. There was only a little bit of tears. I tried to hold myself back, but they just came out. No, just joking, it was Sophia. Sophia had a little bit of fear because there's a big hill. Show that clip here, Sam. Of the hill that Gabby started to go up and Sophia started like tears just pouring out of her face because she thought I was gonna make her go up that hill and it was really steep. Once she knew she wasn't gonna have to go up that hill, she was fine. I miss being close to the girls though and getting to talk to them. I need a horse, you guys. There is something we need. It's a leap of faith. Step away from the comfort zone and oh. honk, and so we can hear if you're close. Okay, right, listen for dad. Do you guys hear it? This has been a really good ride. I mean, a really good trail. It's just hard to walk. I need a horse. Anyway, the girls stayed brave and strong the whole entire time. And like I said, it's an art. Trail riding is an art, especially if you don't know where you're going. If it's like trails that you're used to, then it's not that big of a deal. But I have to say, the horses did not take a wrong step. Storm or Stella, they were slow, steady. Okay, they ate some grass and some leaves and yeah, that was the only wrong step they took. But, uh, but very minimal. The girls are really good at keeping them on the straight and narrow. But yeah, oh, we made it, you guys. What do you see? Hoof prints. Hoof prints. You guys, hoof prints. That's the trail we took. Oh, almost back. I raised some really good little detectives here. What? Um, Stella gets crazy 
when you stop her and she just wants to turn back. Yeah, they there was a puddle, you guys. There was a puddle, like a tiny puddle, like a small one, and they were terrified. They stopped, they wouldn't go around it. They both they both turned around, they wanted to go back. Um, but yeah, we persevered and we got them through it in about one minute flat. The girls use a whole lot of different skills when you're trail riding. Things they didn't even know they had in their box of, in their toolbox of riding tips and tricks. Oh, look at Gabby up there hugging her horse. Oh my gosh, nobody's supposed to drive down here. Stella. Great, we got horses and a truck. Oh my gosh. It said no vehicles. So yeah. It's okay, you're okay. You're okay, Stella. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, young, young kids, boy and girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> Storm's like, I'm not going through it. This is the puddle we first saw. And they went right through it. Amazing. Be a little brave to so take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. We did it! You want to give Stella a big, huge hug? Oh, yay! What about mom? Go! Girl, yes, yes, good girl. All right, take these saddles off. I don't know why I do this to myself. Ruby's so happy to see me. She never cares about me, but she's licking me. Oh, I need a horse. What's really crazy is I know I'll probably do it again because yeah, I'm just right I'm just that kind of girl. <laughs> it takes me a long time so to learn. Like, where were you? But I love the girls getting this opportunity. Like it was so fun. Was it so fun, Gabby? Oh, storm! Oh, storm's like, what the heck is that? Oh, yeah, what the heck is that dog? Oh, he's used to dogs. Ruby, don't go near the back leg. He just goes like straight underneath his stomach, and storm's like, wait. Who's that? <laughs> storm's like, who? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Give them some water. How was it, Sylvie? Did you have a really good time this time? Yeah. Yeah? Like what was your peak? Ruby! Did I call your dog? Ruby. Going in between. What was your favorite part of the trip? Uh, yeah, driving uh, here. Getting, oh, driving here. <laughs> Just so excited to get here. You didn't realize it's going to be so much work. Poor Storm's sweating. Gabby, what was your favorite part of the trip? Uh, going through the puddle. No, climbing that mountain. Climbing that mountain? Sophie, what was your pit? What was the worst part of your trip? Climbing up the huge mountain. Yeah, yeah, man, me no, too. No, there was a hill like that steep, and he's like, I want to go on it, but it was too <laughs> And steep. then Sophie cried, and I was like, then, no way. And then, um, once I realized it was too steep, I thought I saw a path, and then I did see a path. Storm. <laughs> I saw a path, and it was a hill this steep. <laughs> yeah, instead of the, yeah. Storm was slipping, but I was like, I'm doing it. All right, take him for a drink as soon yeah. as you get that off of him. He's like, give me a drink. What was your worst part of the trip, Gabby? Uh, him not, in, not wanting to go into the water. Did yeah. you thought, did you think we were lost at all? Oh, that's good. I got us out of there, guys. Yeah, if it wasn't, I mean, I'll go anywhere with Gabby, you guys. Gabby oh. always gets us out of every, any, any 
thing that we get ourselves into, she always is the one that remains calm. <laughs> Sophie and I cry and Gabby's like, yeah, we got this, just follow me. And then we do and it always turns out well. And she's cooled it off her boy. I got treats too. We have a carrot. And we have apples that we found along the way. Do you guys wash all of the fruit that you give to your horses? Um, I always wash everything because horses can get diseases from slugs and bugs and stuff. Oh, does that feel nice? So was trying oh. to go in the trail. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she knows where it's at. She's like, let me go home. She's probably tired. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. It can be a bit frightening. So where we went wrong was we went off the trail. The reason we went off the trail was because the footing was bad and I was worried about Stella and I wanted her to be, I wanted the footing to be good for the horses and the footing off the trail was better than the, uh, on the trail. Um, so that's where I went wrong. But you guys, everything was okay. Uh, most of the hills were just gentle slopes and the vet did tell us to take her out, go on trail rides, and go on as many hills as we could find that it would be the best for building muscle and the best for her to lose weight so don't panic about still going on the on the trail um she will have the day off tomorrow and so will storm and as long as she needs time off she'll have but i think she'll be okay um anytime you do something new you're using different muscles and these are not muscles that she's used to using or even storm so definitely need time to recover hey so do i Something you don't know You need a little enlightening